If they go through with the captain changes in this next patch, uh, we're, we're going to see the most passive World of Warships gameplay we've ever seen. If you thought World of Warships passive meta was already over the top, it is going to be so much more um, emphasized in the next patch. What's the Des Moines buff? You can run a new skill that'll give you 7% AP damage, which is just a 7% AP DPM buff. Considering Des Moines AP is like, what, 500,000 DPM or 450, whatever it is, I don't know. That's a pretty big buff. That'll be a really good skill for like a lot of ships, though, so. Welcome to the come zone. Uh, to Tommy, thank you for the follow. I mean, you're gonna want to run that on like almost every cruiser in the game. I probably wouldn't run it on Hindenburg though, surprisingly. Not healthy for the game at all. I don't really think that that's that big of a problematic skill or anything like that. The skills that are really more of an issue are the skills that. The skills that reward you for sitting in the back, like the Battleship's Deadeye skill, where you gain 10% bonus dispersion, provided nobody's spotted within your concealment reach. Like, that is so dumb. Minnow doesn't need it? No, Minnow's gonna take it. If you're not taking that on a Minnow, you're... You're... What? What are you doing? The Dazzler skill? Wait, what's the Dazzler skill? It doesn't help the Minnow? What do you mean it doesn't help the Minnow? It literally just gives you 7% more damage output. Like, that's... Just means the Minnow does more damage when it shoots you. It's only guns larger than 190? Oh, is it? Is, okay, I don't remember if it was hard capped or not. If that's the case, then yeah. Fuck you, Minotaur. I, I actually do think you're right, it is capped. I'd forgotten about that. Then yeah, no, never mind. Fuck you, Minotaurs. <laughs> Ships lose twenty percent dispersion for the first fifteen seconds of shooting a destroyer. Uh, you mean for the first fifteen seconds after a DD is spotted? You have a 20% dispersion debuff against? For those unaware, that's the ex Okay. Uh, did- Destroyers? Were Destroyers weak? <laughs> so, um... For those unaware, that's the exact same value applied to Thunderstorms, uh, Dispersion debuff. So if you guys have ever been in a Thunderstorm and, like, seen how shitty your Dispersion gets, that's the exact same level of bad Dispersion you would have in a Thunderstorm, so... Uh, yeah... <laughs> that's gonna be really disgustingly good for, honestly, every DD except the gunboats. That's also a quad fire. Thank you. But yeah, everything like torp boat and that's not a that's a really bad skill change though. That's no, that's a really bad skill. What? Like, no, don't get me wrong, it's fucking phenomenal for you, but, like, it's really bad for the game. Because, like, you're just making it so that DDs can't support, or can't get support from their team. <sighs> was, was that an issue with destroyers dying too quickly because they got spotted? Or is it... Is it trying to pro er, help destroyers against aircraft carriers? I'm really confused about that. Well, 
like because I'm, I'm thinking about how that would work so like you're you're playing you're playing a battleship no no you're playing a destroyer right and you spot an enemy destroyer but he also spots you so you both start shooting right or you're both trying to disengage and then you watch as your team doesn't hit him and and to make it worse people are just gonna not even bother shooting at destroyers because why would you if you have a 20% dispersion debuff? It's hard enough to get a good salvo on a DD. And if you're going to tell me that the game is going to fuck me over so much harder, then why would I be concerned? Like, why, why would I even care at that point? I... What strikes DPM? Not good. Just has a really high fire chance. And the enemy potatoes have been repairing fires left and right, so. I was set on phone fire. I need to repair. <laughs> no. Well, you did anyways. And they don't run fire prevention, so it just really makes it easier for me. Sometimes you wish Goliath had Drake Citadel. If Goliath had Drake Citadel layout, it would be a very good ship, I think. And it's not that the Drake is safe when it goes broadside. You get fucking deleted. But... Big butt. You can angle. <laughs> Drake also has a spotter, which, yeah, does help out the range. So you can run... Well, I... I do run uh, reload on the Goliath anyways, but... So the Akatsuki's all the way out here already. All right. And the game won't tell you when it's active, so you assume every DD has that skill. Yeah, exactly. Like, like if I'm playing a battleship and an, en and an enemy destroyer gets spotted like 10, 12 kilometers away, I'm just like not even going to bother like because there's no point maybe not 10 but like you know 15 plus something like that like 10 to 15 out is <laughs> I, I i don't know but like if my dispersion is gimped so severely at like what point do i just like not even bother to try there's war game we put in a skill into the game that just makes it so that there's just no reward for even doing it in the first place. The average player doesn't do it anyways. Yeah, I'm just saying that like you're just you're okay. The problem is is that some players do shoot at destroyers, right? And all you're doing is disincentivizing those players who do shoot at a DD from doing so. So. That just sounds like a really dumb skill. Baited me there. Skill won't save him from the CVs. No, but what it'll do is it'll make it so that um, CV spotting isn't as strong against the destroyer. Because when the the CV spots you, um, their team won't be able to damage you that well for 15 seconds. But it's like a completely useless skill on ships like the Kaba and maybe uh, Kleber because like. You're just gunboating around anyways, right? So they don't really benefit you at all. All right, 20 seconds. And then a Venezia blaps you anyways. It ain't gonna blap you with a 20% dispersion debuff. 
That's for damn sure. Superintendent is removed from BBs. It's not removed. It's a four-point skill. I don't think removing superintendent is necessarily going to make battleships more passive, but the problem is that um, I already figured out that battleships basically have a uniform build with the next um, patch. Uh, you run concealment, fire prevention, and then deadeye. Uh, three four-point skills. And then using that build, what you do is you um, you just try to take pot shots at range. Because there's no benefit to pushing it and trying to use your secondaries, because we're giving gimped secondaries. And... Because the long-range sniping ships are going to be so much more accurate, that means they're going to be hitting a lot more shells. And they're going to be far deadlier, so... Yeah, no, like I, I mean, I've been saying for a while, like the last few weeks, that the captain's rework skill is just not looking good at all. I'm not like, uh, you know, oh, oh my god, like ring the bell, like, oh my god, no. It's just more like one of those ones that's just like, a lot of the skills just seem to incite passive gameplay and are actively nerfing what is already weak playstyles, so. The Slava going to actually be good? The problem with the Slava is the fact that it can only do one thing. But I guess if everyone's doing it, then yeah, Slava will be the best at it, so. Fucking bitch ass cruisers getting in here just putting it right in me, man. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not necessarily, I don't, I don't think a skill that makes battleships more accurate is a bad skill by its very design. But the way that Wargaming has that skill set up is done in such a way that the, the main benefit is the ships that didn't need it. No, that shot didn't win the game, I had to go kill the Pomeran and the Rune. <laughs> Far from one. Um, uh, so like, like, because the better your concealment is on a battleship, right? The more you're going to benefit. So Conqueror and Thunderer, by that definition, uh, will be able to use the skill most often, right? Did the Thunderer really need to be more accurate? Like, did the Conqueror? I mean, yeah, I rage sold the Conqueror, but I mean, it's not a bad ship. It's very, very powerful right now. And... Uh, like, the skill, like, if you want to make that skill good, reverse it. You don't give the 10% bonus to people who are sniping. You give it to people who are within concealment range. So, oh my god, how close am I to this Palmer? That might be the rune. Well, shit. I guess we're brawling now. We are brawling now, boys. He actually healed me there. Oh. Okay. How did you... You did negative damage, and I don't know how. Welcome to the cum zone. Nom 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 
Uh, now I just push the rune and charge him. I should be able to sustain a DPM fight since I have my heal coming up. And then even if we trade Colorado still alive, we win the game. Especially when I can do that and he's using armor piercing, so. And he's only using his front gun. <laughs> Colorado is shooting high explosive. Not good. Shit, I shouldn't have repaired. Ah, uh, fuck me. That could bite me in the ass very hard. Very good Drake game, surprisingly. 260k in any any tier 9 cruiser is really good. <laughs> oh, six kills on top. That's like a, that's a 4 billion PR game. <laughs> Dude, I thought the Pomeran was going to be so much closer to see, though. I, I almost misplayed that so hard.